Hello everyone, welcome back to Nitsia channel. So today is the final video of our tutorial that talking about broadcasting CG in Cinema 4D that we uh, made that kind of promo title in Cinema 4D or 21. So in this uh, part six, we are going to talk about compositing in After Effects. In the previous video, we already talking about how I set up my render city. So now we will bring this kind of city to compose it more. Like we add uh, some footage into the screen and change some color correction in this artwork. So uh, here in After Effects in the project tab, now let's bring our file dot AEC. If you using Cinema 4D or 21, when you save file A dot AEC, you need to open it, open with uh, with text editor or notepad, and you have to make sure that in the name of Cinema 4D composition need to be in capital letter like that. Okay, in the default of this dot AEC file, they will write Cinema in lowercase letter, so we need to change it to capital letter like that okay and after that we can save it so after we save it when we open it in after effect you can import it if you not change that uh, letter you will not you cannot uh, import it into after effect so now after i import it there are three folder this is a uh, our main file that contain the now object eternal compositing that we set up okay and this is the past like uh, object buffer like reflect and the special passes is contain of uh, like object buffer and also the main reason okay if you set the file with your main result, you can just no need to compose it more. You just you just uh, drag it into the composition and just replace um, some footage into the screen. But now I need to compose it a little bit. So uh, in here, I will pre-compose these passes. So I click and I pre-compose and I will name it report alpha because we are fine with our buffer okay and I double click with my compositing okay and I pre-compose it again and I will rename it report mm. passes okay and I go to my this composition and now I will start tracking some of this is my main file that I render from cinema 4D if we solo it okay and I will compose it I will change it to something like screen and I decrease opacity You can make compose it as how you think how it look if you think this is the shadow and this is the reflect this 
This is why we need our passes to compose it because if we not render our multi pass, we not change like in here. If you think reflect is too strong, you can decrease it. But if you not render passes, this is this is the final result, okay? From Cinema 4D. Imagine if you not render passes. If you not render multi pass from Cinema 4D, so you cannot adjust anything in this final result. If you think that reflect is too strong, you cannot decrease or increase. Okay, this is why I like to render multi pass because I love I, I, I like to adjust it more in After Effects like that. Okay, I have more capacity to adjust anything and this is reflect refer to the material that contain glasses okay so I can uh, pre-compose this one this is my style of compositing of compost the advert if you you can you don't have to follow all or what I compose you can experience and uh, create more okay and I go to my refract and I duplicate this one again I and then add so it will get more glasses and it brighten it we can put it into new com view to see two view and this one we can lock it and this one we go to you can see how the different can take a look okay and i can create new adjustment layer and I add a fake cuff color correction cuff and increase its brightness a little bit something like that okay so back to our report alpha and we will alpha the background because this background is contain black background so we will drag the buffer yeah buffer one buffer one is the all the element uniform buffer of all the element in this CG artwork so I will drag this buffer above it And then I change is drag mag to luma matte. Okay, and if I click on the two call transparency, you can see now it's alpha. And this one is all as far because it's um, glasses. But if you don't want it to make, if you don't want to make the glass too transparency we can add a cuff to our buffer and then we can adjust the curve here if you see if I increase increase um, the cuff RGB here you can see now we got something our glass bag Okay. the gray area stand for how it's transparent if it too black like that if it completely black like that so our glass will be absolutely transparency okay so we just increase it a little bit to get some color of it Ok, 
Okay, now we go to our main com, and I think that I don't use any of this light and camera. I can turn it invisibility, and then I can hide. Okay, now let's create the background for our main city. So I got the nav from it. I can create with simple solid. So this I will name this BG. And I put it behind our CG here. Okay. And I will make it in 3D, okay. And now it's wrong position, so we need to adjust it a little bit. Uh, or we can take a look at the position of our nav. So this is zero, and we follow the position from the nav object from Cinema 4D. And in this is best we can copy it, click on it and paste. Oh, sorry, we can copy the composition of the BG. We did copy and click on the position from for in BG solid and paste it now it contain the same and there is content keyframe we can delete it because we don't need any keyframe on it and we can scale it a little bit to make it completely behind the Okay, and I can add a void for color gradient. Yes, and we change it to something like that. You can use any color as you like okay you don't need to follow all what I want or what my technique okay something like that and I can bring my footage of map I put it in the link description in this video in the link in the video description if you need that kind of footage the map the teacher here you can download it from my website nitsia.net okay So this is my map. So I can this one deleted. I can duplicate on my BG solid here. This is my BG solid. I can solo it first. Okay. I can duplicate it. Control D, and then I can drag my map and I press R and replace it. Okay. Now I don't see anything and I can drag it. Yeah, and I don't see my map because it's con still content with a fit for color gradient, so I need to delete it. Now you got to see my map. Okay. And I can change it to like overlay to make it 
mixed with my BG here. Now I can solo the two. Add, no, multiply. Okay. You can play around with blending option to get the result you want, okay? This one, okay, I use, um, okay, darken and I duplicate again and I change it to normal and I increase. Oh, sorry, I decreased the opacity of it. Yeah, something like that. Okay, and this kind of texture. This is my texture. My texture map. So I can. You can see this content really high resolution. So I can duplicate for this uh, map. Okay, Control D, and then I can press R and drag it to replace. Okay, now you got to see my map. But I want it to stand on the foreground, so I can rotate it. in y direction oh no sorry in x direction so minus 90 degrees okay and I drag it on you can solo it first for easily and let's increase opacity to 100% and this is too big can scale it a little bit yeah something like that and put it on the ground like that okay now if we unsolo it you not see anything because it's behind our texture, our uh, CG. So we need to put it on above our compositing. And I want it to just on the floor, not affect anything and any element. So what I can do is I can use the buffer of the plan, the foreground plan. It's contained in buffer 18, okay. And then I can put it above the teacher here. This is my teacher, and this is the buffer. And I can illuminate it, okay. So now it's a foot only on the ground and we can scale it. Let's scale it. Only in Y direction, okay. And we can duplicate both of it and move it. To the back space like that to make it cover the whole plan okay and we can change scale a, li a little bit okay something like that and this is black so we need to change blending mode to add okay this one also 
creature in blending mode to add. So now our plan contains some texture that we put it in after effect in this one. Okay, I can add some of it called glow. So we got some glowing and we can duplicate it. Change color and increase decrease the glow radius. Okay, something something like that. And if you want to add some color on it we can make it with a thick tin and we can change the color white to something to light blue like that okay in this texture we add a thick tin and we change white color to blue so we got something like that or we just add some color the same as glass yeah I think it look nice for me it's okay and for our if I solo it this is our artwork if you not satisfied with anything you still can adjust it because we render out a lot of buffer okay for example if I go to report alpha here if I just I just want to only color correct in only for the text I can duplicate this composition again and I can alpha it with my buffer what kind of buffer of the letter yes this this is only contain the buffer of the letter buffer 2 so I can have for it okay and then I can color correct for it like cuff I put it on here so if I you can see if I adjust any color correction it's only effect for the letter because I alpha it with the buffer that I render from cinema for the this is the good idea when we render out the element from cinema 4D we should uh, turn a lot of buffer for make us easy adjustment in after effect okay this is just a quick uh, example so if this is too bright you can check it a little bit and we can play around with tin okay you got some idea to compose in we also can change any color of all element if we have buffer for example in this cube like this BG let me check Oh, and I forgot to compose with indirect. I also turn on indirect 
spatula and the spatula so I can go back to my report pass and I can drag out my direct spatula and add it a little bit decrease illumination multiply okay, and pass what kind of pass indirect spatula is really nice okay really nice reflect without indirect with indirect Okay, this is for the main bar. For example, I can drag out my buffer here, and I oh, the same as before. I can duplicate my main report pass and uncheck it, so I can play around with this element. I can add. I can add a cool and saturation or oh, I can increase decrease it a little bit and I can change any color as I like if I print out my buffer this is really easy right that's why I always asking I always recommend you guys to turn on object buffer because it's easy for us like that okay okay just make it simple as before now I delete it now go to our main com and slow it now we got something like that you also can change the background if you're not satisfied with it but I'm okay with it oh I just can go to my report alpha again and duplicate the composition delete all the effect and I alpha it with my buffer of plan and I just curve it a little bit yeah to make it look brighter now let's see okay it's much better or make it now we can lock it and then we view to view and we go to our here how far here and we adjust it we can make it a little bit darker in the front and a little bit lighter something contrast like that okay okay now I certify with my compositing so I will pre-render this artwork out for make me easier to replace the footage so I will pre-render it add to render shoe and then X shoe here my setting I use format quick time channel RGB okay so okay so now I will pre-render it first and then I will talk about how I replace the video into our screen okay so after I pre-render it I can import my video this one I create the folder for easy organize okay and then I can create new composition 
this one we can uh, find again and this is Cory man spawn okay and I can drag out my pretender video after I pretender so this is weird easy for us for preview like that okay so um, I can go to my main com and I can copy my camera and my null footage here control C and then I can back to my main export and I pass it this null VG I don't need so I can delete it so what I just need is the null for the screen okay so as you can see there is one two three four four side four side on the left and four side on the right side so the total composition that we need to replace the full tag is egg composition so I will create composition for replace video so this is a uh, light rectangle like that so we can make it like 300 with 900 we said we said and okay so it look completely rectangle like that so we can print out our food tag this is just example I have some in make in here okay and of course we need to put it into the folder yeah and I can drag it out just this photo is just only for example okay and as we have a screen we have a screen so I need to duplicate it a composition so we duplicate in the project tab control D okay now we got egg and then we can replace the food tag here you can you can put any food tag even not only the picture but even the video also but here is just for example you can turn it off now let's for example now let's um, replace the full tag on the left side here okay this one so I can stand for this null object and then I go to my video replace press R and replace it and then we need to turn on opacity okay and there is something error because the script the, the null object is not um, rotate it so we need to delete the keyframe or rotation okay and we rotate it in Y rotation 90 degree okay and then what we gotta do is we need to alpha it with object buffer this one
Okay. This is the buffer for the screen, and then we have it. And we can scale it a little bit if it's too big. Okay. And we can change rendering mode to add. And for this one, let's replace it with video replace composition tool. Press R. Okay. Rotation. Delete all the keyframe and change rotation Y to 90 degree and then we turn on opacity to 100 okay and we need to we need a buffer so this is buffer 10 it would be buffer 11 let's check it first okay this one okay and we luma made it and let's change the scale it to 44 okay and if it look not nice we can go to video replace tool here we can unlock it we can lock it and create a new composition go to video replace tool and we change the scale okay something like that blending mode to screen oh. okay and this one and before we follow the same technique okay file it with buffer 12 okay and this one we no need to replace because we see only a, li a little bit screen okay let's just put it black and for this side this one we no need we can turn it off and for this side is in this now so let's bring the plus video 4 R and click it on turn on its opacity to 100 Turn on the scale to 44 and rotation, delete all the keyframe and we change rotation to minus 90 degree. Okay, because this, this side is 90 degree, so the left side would be nine, minus 90. And then let's find its buffer. Yeah, it starts from buffer 5, so I drag it on and i change it to luma man okay change blending mode to add yes and this one will do with all replaces
and this one is for replace video so when we can change the footage uh, we just can keep this footage but we change the position to make it look different okay face and power like that and we go to video replace so when press R and replace it turn opacity to 100 rotation Okay, and for the final one, this one, let's change the tag here. Let's go to for this guy, for him, and change something like that. And then I can the foot tag turn on opacity rotation okay and the final buffer Yes, Luma made. Okay, now we finish with replace video in our screen. Okay, so this is simple as that. Even and all this technique also apply when we replace video into the bumper screen. So what we need is uh, the eternal compositing now from Cinema 4D of the screen that we need to replace the footage and also it's individual buffer okay after we got this we can play around more with color correction you can create adjustment layer and uh, color correct it more okay so that's all for our tutorial they're talking about compositing in after wait for our cg broadcast and see you in the next video we will i will create more tutorial that related to motion graphic and also a cinema 4d tutorial thank you very much for watching it there and if you're not yet subscribed yet don't forget to click on the subscribe button and turn on the bell notification and have a good day thank you